Alright, enough is enough. People have got to stop fucking around. There's no way on earth anywhere there's a fucking rug this damn dirty. And I like the caption of the video, impossible rug to wash. Yeah, it's impossible because nobody even wants to do it. This is already enough work for me. After this first phase, then he watered it with a watering can from fucking Blue's Clues, I would have been done. How is it possible to even fit that much dirt on that thin ass rug? This dude's using one of those like pressure washer sidewalk cleaners, a power washer, watering cans. He's using enough water to make Africa jealous. They should have sent this dude to go wash this rug over there in Maui and put the fires out. I'm trying to figure out how much you paid in the electric bill and the water bill combined to wash this rug. Was it worth it? Did, did Jesus sleep on this rug? Now you're combing the rug, brushing the rug, squirting it down with every available chemical, and I guess it's working because you're starting to see a little bit of red. A lot of unanswered questions like, is this his rug? Did someone send it to him and they're paying him to clean it? Or is this all fake like everything else on the internet and you're doing it for clicks? I don't know. The rug is so filthy I'm surprised cops aren't shooting it. My man's lifting the edges up like it's a pancake to see if it's finished cooking. Dude's on round three of buffing out all the scratches. My favorite part is that he walks like a character in South Park. But why does he keep cleaning the floor? You're nowhere near done. The floor is just gonna get more dirty, my man. I feel like at some point you've rubbed this rug down so far that it's gonna cause some sort of permanent damage to it one way or the other. Alright, bring out chemical number seven. Jesus Christ. You're busting out all over that damn thing and he's putting it in a Walmart bag. Why? Why? Why the wall? And then you took it right back out of the Walmart bag. Is that a vital step to doing the same thing you're doing before? Because I see the same amount of dirt coming off. It ain't looking any different. But I apologize if I come off as an asshole. I'm not an expert in deep rug cleaning. I've never let my rug get that filthy before, so I don't know what the process takes. And I guess I'm just another wasteful human being that doesn't take things seriously because I definitely would have just thrown this right in the garbage can. Dude's walking on the rug like it's a fucking balance beam. I mean, this is sped up and cut and clipped and edited. Imagine how long he's been cleaning this. This guy definitely told his friends, just give me a few minutes, man. I'm helping my dad with some chores and I'll be on the game in a little bit. Seven and a half hours later. Second time, jamming it back in a trash bag. And with just about 0% progress, you'd have to be asking yourself, maybe college was the best way to go. My boy's gonna come over here and grab himself a bottle of piss, sniff it, and dump it. I guess you gotta try everything at this point. Unless you're charging about two to three hundred dollars per rug that you're doing, I don't see how this business would be profitable. Kind of looking like an 8th gen i7 processor. After I was done with this, I'd politely hand this back to the customer and just be like, listen, if you ever bring a rug this dirty again, I'm gonna have to charge you extra. I think I'd be more likely to believe this is where COVID came from before eating a bat. Well, I don't know why he's using his bare hands to scrub it or apply the chemical when you have the damn electric scrubby. If the giant machine's not getting the job done, I don't know what the bare hands are doing. I feel like the only reason he recorded this video is so he can let the customer know that he truly did do everything he possibly could to save this fucking rug. This dude's like wearing a different outfit. This is like day two of the rug. On day two, God already had the heavens and the earth created, and this guy's still on the same goddamn rug. I'm not really hating, I'm just saying like this looks like a lot of work, but I, then again, I don't know how much this pays. Maybe he's cleaning like rugs for the Prince of Persia or something, you know? I don't know. If he's making $250,000 a year, I'd probably do this. I'd, I'd give the job a shot. For anybody that does this for a living, just let me know. I don't know how much it pays. Maybe it's good. And if I ever come across any friends of mine that have rugs that are that absolute filthy, I'll definitely give this guy a call. He's got good form. He's got good posture. He doesn't give up. That's for fact. But for sure, one of the most crucial steps of this is the South Park walk. I guess you do that because if you walk normal, you're going to like crinkle up or wrinkle the carpet and you wouldn't want to do that. Here's chemical number nine. The seventh time we busted out the fucking scrubby. Sorry if there's not a final result. I haven't actually watched this video all the way through, so I don't know if we get to see what this looks like when it's dried.